I hope you're having an amazing day. My name is Colin. In this video, we're going to have a look at the live launch on KuCoin for AIPad, the Bluezilla Launchpad going live. A lot of hype. I made a previous video with a complete review. There was a lot of demand for a live tracking. So let's do it. We're going live in five minutes on KuCoin. Before we do, we're going to do a quick rundown of the assets available. Then we're going to track it live on KuCoin for the initial listing. 15 minutes later, it will also be available on PancakeSwap. And 15 minutes thereafter, it will be available on Uniswap. So I'm going to open all the different links just to, well, the swappers maybe not because I don't have any tokens. All right, a iPad tech. There we go. This is the listing. This is the Uniswap pool. And this is the Ethereum one. So you can swap for WETH, wrapped Ethereum or wrapped BNB. Obviously, it's not running at the minute just yet because the trading is not live yet. First, KuCoin is coming up in four minutes. Then we have PancakeSwap 15 minutes later. And 15 minutes later, um, we will have the pool here. Uh, based on the contract address already released, I'm not sure if people will actually push liquidity themselves and start trading. Uh, let's see how that's going to look. Uh, we have the honeypot here and token sniffer. Let's look at that real quick. Anything? All right. There's no liquidity. Yeah, of course, because it's not live yet. Token is sellable. Verified. Okay. All right, yeah, we needed to be live to, to use these tools and we will once it has been deployed. Three and a half minutes left. So definitely a lot of hype, definitely a lot of momentum behind this project. I've already shared my opinion, but before I go into the overview, of course, I use track digits for the analysis. The smart contract is available. The price will be tracked based on the release of the tokens. So that will be nice because the price movement then starts to be tracked very soon once it's released on the open market. So if you want to keep up to date on AIPAD, the vesting releases in the future, how the token price moves and get all of the important indicators, there's a link to sign up for free to track digits it's in the description down below. So you can use that to your advantage, a full database with tokens, not only an iPad, but other relevant launchpads, gaming projects, metaverse projects, by browsing the feature right here. For iPad, let's go to the Discord real quick. Um, there were a lot of scam links. I already seen people on Twitter complaining that they got scammed. Of course, with a project that is that hyped, uh, you can imagine. They have slow mode available, but only for 15 seconds. So. I will buy huge. Do keep into consideration when we look at the actual tokenomics here. Uh, I don't think that the actual fee on sell orders is applicable on KuCoin. I've never seen a centralized exchange that would allow this. So do take that into consideration. The uh, buyback and burn would be applicable to the DEXs, the, the sell fee basically at about 7%, which also means that your slippage has to be at least 7% for your tra uh, transaction to go through. More likely with a token with this kind of volume, you're looking at 8-12% slippage. Let's say it evens out at 10%. If you put in a $1,000 sell order, you might only get $900 back. So take that into consideration when trading on a DEX, that the slippage is obviously important. Looking at a centralized exchange listing, 76,000. Uh, yeah, this will easily go over, over a market cap of a million. The tokenomics are designed in such a way. So you're looking at at least a 15x. It might go to, you know, 5 million. Market caps are, are still very aggressive, specifically on projects with this much momentum, right? The TGE is 10%. I wonder when the TGE is going to occur. I don't think they have announced the time on the actual TGE. It would probably not be on the KuCoin listing. It will probably be on the actual um, release of the, the claim, which I assume then would happen uh, on the for, for the, the Ethereum launchpads like ETHPAD. 
on Uniswap time, so in about 30 minutes, and for PancakeSwap, uh, the BNB launch pads in 15 minutes. We're getting over the KuCoin real quick, not to miss the first candle. We have about 45 seconds and then you need to refresh and we'll see the first candles move. But yeah, on that, you might see like 7.5 million, 15 million. It could easily pull a 200x. The question is, is that maintainable once the tokens are released, although it's 10%, will we see a dumb fest? I think likely. I think we'll see the standard pattern as briefly described in my other video. Uh, we'll see big pumps, big pumps, and then uh, half an hour to an hour in, it will die out. Usually six to 12 hours later, it picks up a little bit, but it doesn't uh, go to that all-time high. Allocations, anywhere from $2 to $10, I've been told by community members in the Digits Club. Um, somebody saying here, my $2 is gonna be $200. Oh, well, then at least you got your initial investment back. A thousand X in KuCoin and another thousand X on PancakeSwap. Do note there will be some interesting arbitrage opportunities if that's the case. Look, there we go live. It's opening at, let me refresh this. The order book is already filled with a lot of tokens. Okay, people are putting buy orders at 60 cents. Okay, here we see the depth of the market. Can I put the, on a one minute candle? Okay, it's starting, but it's, it's still quite laggy. So the trades are already happening. You can see everything moving. So 60 on the buy. So 60 would already be, how, how much is that? Two cents, that's already a 30X straight off the launch. But let's see, we need to give it a couple of minutes. You know, I can imagine with the volume that they have, it's gonna be a little trippy. 80 cents on the sell, still 60 on the buy. And it's tracking in, in AI pad tokens. I wish they would show the US dollar value. That would be nice. I don't know if I can customize this. I don't need to see five decimals. Three decimals is fine. Yeah, three decimals is fine. Okay, market depth. So it's definitely a lot of between dollar, just higher than a dollar where it would shoot. The reason trades. So this is people just putting in orders or is that actually, because I still need to claim their tokens. Is there any movement? Because the candles are also not formulating. It's almost two minutes in. Maybe it's just really, really laggy. Refresh, nope. It's not really moving. Oh, there we go. Look, here we go. Buy, 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 80. So now the trade is opening. 83 cents, right? 83 cents, 40x. All these buy orders, and then probably in like four, four or five minutes, you will see the sell orders. All right, there we see some sell orders coming through already. Okay, so it's 90 cents. How many tokens? So there's 300,000 tokens here. So there's $300,000. I'm always interested in seeing the volume being built up. So the volume is $330,000 already. That's moving really fast. Sitting at a dollar, all right. A lot of buy order still at a dollar. Interesting. Okay, now there we go, big sell orders, hang on. Okay, yeah, you can imagine if you, if you would just have, have bought 50 cents when it opened or 60 cents when it opened, you bought like 10 grand and then at a dollar you just dump it. And those dumps, those scare people, right? So the first candle opened all the way to like a dollar and one cent and then somebody just wrecks it with like big purchases, pushes it back and now it slowly needs to climb but more and more sell orders are also pouring in and the buy orders are not as significant except here, 80 cents. It's about 50,000 tokens worth but look, we have a big sell wall here at about 80,000 that is being built up and then some a lot of sell orders here at the top all the way to a dollar We're talking millions worth of tokens right but interesting to see how that goes Let, let's quickly go to the discord see what's happening claim not available can't buy keeps failing okay so here comes the fud yeah <laughs> 
<laughs> here comes the fat one dollar insane it's always funny to, to watch this i i have the best time not even participating in these things and just watching it myself we find everyone to share your bullish thoughts on ipad yeah nobody cares mate we're watching the listing we're watching the listing okay back to the general chat now first we go back to qcoin to see what's going okay it's climbing again 85 cents how much time do we have we still have 10 minutes before pancake swap is available and the dexes will be crazy because there will be a lot of bots involved and it's, it's sitting at 1.3 million in volume it's not that much i mean it's a lot of money don't get me wrong but it's not like crazy volume it's being pushed down again to 80 cents and of course guys this is ridiculous right we're talking a 40x from launch even a 10 percent tge you would already be profitable right but if you can't claim your tokens or send your tokens over to kucoin for whatever reason then that 40x doesn't mean that much how much was ideal price Oh point oh three five. Somebody bought at seventy four cents. So the the main thing that is important here. So it's at eighty four cents. We, you can keep track of the tab here with the live pricing while I go to track digits. So basically, what I mentioned before, right? So the TGE has occurred. Now there's a one month cliff coming up uh, before it starts. Most important thing, the team tokens advise liquidity. There's a lot of liquidity, right? For the DEXs, maybe even for the centralized exchange allocated. This fast thing is basically placeholder, right? But the seed, if this was 0.02 on public, you must imagine that seed and private almost have the same vesting, right? 10% TGE, they're gonna make so much money of that. And then seed and private are basically undisclosed. I assume private includes the strategic KOLs and a seed might be like privately funded. Uh, and privately funded probably by Bucilla, which makes the most sense. And then you have all the different launch pads. Uh, I'll be curious to see how that claim is going up. Oh, price is moving down a little. It's always nice to see at least solid pattern of green candles and not like red candles. But I know for sure that we'll make it. Well, I'll, I'll be here another 10 minutes to make sure that we follow the Dex Tools one because that, that, be, that will be really funny. To basically see that explode and see what the, what the movement is let's quickly go over to that twitter see what's happening right there see what people are saying okay an ipad and blusilla will donate one percent of the cell tax collated okay so the donating donating to charity that is interesting when we look at the trading on KuCoin, did KuCoin tweet it out or? Well, there's a lot of attention there. Ah, oh, here, KuCoin.com. They, they must have made an announcement that it's live two hours ago. Yeah, here we go. Oh no, that's a different one, that's Brazil. Arbitrum. Do so. They did do one tweet the other day about the listing. It would be nice if, if the the pool goes live that they would tweet it again, but they're tweeting so much anyway. Okay, so they didn't do that. I want to see on the latest tweet what's the news 12 hours ago. Have they just eight minutes ago? Okay. We're looking at 82 cents on the chart, so it's kind of flatlined after the initial push. Volume is decent, but we're talking 1.7, well here, $2 million uh, over the first eight minutes. So it's definitely not too bad, but all time high, a dollar and one cent. Low 0 0.02, where it basically started, but the first candle, basically the first buy-in happened at about 61 cents. All right, nothing happening on the DEXs just yet. What are they saying? 40X, 
why can't I claim my coins? What are they saying? Okay, so the claim has some issues. We can't claim our tokens. They're not able to buy. Why can't I buy? Okay. Well, because I can imagine there's a lot of buy orders. The system gets a little laggy, right? It's only normal with how these things go, specifically in a centralized exchange where it's centralized, right? So they do control some things. They have to add the liquidity and everything. I would assume they would have done that beforehand. 86 cents. Can't really zoom in the chart either because it's just so small still. Need more data. And you can see volume quite big so the volume is already slowing down quite significantly right we're talking is this us dollars i assume so 93000 34000 35000 250k and the first one was basically the biggest to buy and sell was about 800 so the volume is definitely slowing down which is a good thing while you have a slow linear upward trend right might be climbing back to a dollar but the big but is when we go to the market depth, look, there's not that many buy orders for the amount of sell orders. So for it to climb to a dollar, we'd be looking at a hundred or even more. Yeah, we'd be, so for 96 cents, looking at a hundred and one eleven point no, one hundred sixteen thousand tokens. Is that right? Five thousand? No, one point one million tokens. For it to only se sell one hundred seventy five k, it's already back to eighty two cents. So definitely a lot more sellers than buyers, which makes sense. It just depends. At some point, the people might FOMO when the DEX comes in. So when people start dumping on the DEX, I foresee that this will also go down. Uh, quite a bit which is I think when we're reaching well it's already 11 so probably at 13 14 when the claim happens then uh, then you, you'll see some movement there let's see Just taking care of other work things at the minute. Oh, there we go. Massive buy orders up to a dollar. That went fast. Recent trades. Can I put the recent trades also in different decimals? Oh, this is only buys. This is only buy sell. Because this moves so fast with so little tokens, I just basically want to filter on like big, big purchases in USD. I never really used KuCoin that much. I used to like a year, a year and a half ago, but these days I never really use it. I'm not even locked in at the minute. 110, all right. Or maybe they're pumping it because the deck listing is coming. I foresee a dump. As soon as it comes on the decks, the pump will happen. 120. Mate, if it goes from 80 cents to 120, people must start selling. Oh, uh, look, they're killing the candle, see? Hey, somebody, if, let's say you put in a hundred grand, right? You just basically took out 20 grand in like a minute. It's crazy how volatile it is. Risky business, but still. A dollar being pushed back hard, candles being crushed. Three, two minutes. Refresh, refresh. Five thousand percent. There will be a twenty-one percent sell fee the first in the first five minutes. After five minutes, goes back to the normal seven percent fee. Was that announced somewhere? Who says that? Who's this guy? He's not even part of the team. Ah, oh, that's an announcement. Maybe that's here. Yeah. Offered me yesterday, I didn't read it here. There will be a 21% selfie in the first five minutes. Man, people are gonna get wrecked. That selfie 21% that's ridiculous. Yeah, I have to hit them with the, with the laughing. I'm, I might have to hit them with the 
this one, hot face, or what, what are we gonna use? Oh, this is my favorite one when I'm trolling. No disrespect, I'm just a troll on this one. But yeah, 21%, one minute to go. BNB, we need this one. 91, see, like I said, we're almost there, 40 seconds. They need to add the liquidity though, so it might start moving soon already. It would be interesting to see if it, if it jumps into the hot pairs as well. Are they going to be on time or are they going to, so 95 cents. So our volume is picking up. You can see the volume returned a little bit, it's still trading 200k a minute. I need to configure this as well. What's the time? 10 seconds. 10 seconds. All right, I say if tokens were able to be claimed successfully, we'll see a massive dump fest. But then again, you have 21% sell tax for the first five minutes, right? So people might not sell, they will only buy. So you see a bigger candle and then KuCoin will also pump because of the arbitrage. There we go. It's open. One minute candle, 150, 170. It's mad. Look at all these people buying. It's crazy. <laughs> $2. <laughs> it's going to two dollars that's bad so two dollars yeah hang on hang on hang on tokenomics one zero twenty cents ten x two dollars hundred x crazy absolutely crazy two dollars is this going to follow one dollar buy orders buy orders buy orders they're all small buy orders, so sell orders, people taking some profits. Two dollars on that first god candle. That's so funny. Okay, first sell order. Okay, buy tax zero percent, sales tax twenty one percent. So anybody selling right now, they're only receiving. Look, we can even open this. Uh, they're all very small orders. We need a big one. Yeah, 45,000 tokens. Let's just run that one on chain. What are we sending at? 185. Okay. Yeah, see, so the tax is being deducted. 214, yeah, four, 40 tokens taken. Just 21%, uh, yep. So those people selling right now are being hit with a tax. Okay, it's moving down, it's already down 25%. This is coming up in the hot pairs right now. Liquidity, 700K. Let's open and run the scan there. It's a big arbitrage, but I don't think you can withdraw from KuCoin at the minute. They've probably passed that, which makes sense. Okay. One thirty four. People are selling right now. You'd be so dumb to sell. As soon as that sales tax comes off from 21 to seven, then we'll see the crash. Makes sense that it might drop under a dollar, right? Because it's at a dollar right now. So it might drop under a dollar and then it will shoot back up for the arbitrage. Can we see the total the total sell orders? I don't think so. That'd be interesting to see how much money they made in the first five minutes just of that 21% tax, that sales tax, that's crazy. 112, 
what's the time is it is it going at 8 30 on uniswap i think so another announcement pancake swap okay yeah 15 more minutes but the the, the tax is being removed in one minute in 30 seconds we're going to see what's going to happen see it's evened out and now it's going to shoot under a dollar as soon as that tax is being removed bang must be people waiting for that shit time 15 seconds like, like they're selling like very little tokens as well so like oh here 445 dollars you're giving 21 percent away just wait for 10 seconds. $400. Interesting choices. Okay. Now we should see a little dump. Yep, it's dumping, right? Below a dollar, 10% down already. The thing is, it, it's not hard to see these patterns, how these are, things are gonna play out. Exactly what happened. This one is holding quite well, but it will follow this pattern. So people will start panic selling here soon. And this is already 87. I think there should be some reversal. The thing is if KuCoin holds strong and doesn't go down with panic either because they're following this, then this one can still reverse if people will, will buy in. But now it's, it's crashing quite significantly. 83. And then there's only 10 minutes left until it comes on Uniswap. We'll, we'll track that for like the first five minutes probably and then to see where it ends up but still holding incredibly strong at a 40x so any investor that participated had an interesting move however however right let's take meta vpad for example while we're at it meta vpad so for that tears to let's say get a I don't know, $2 allocation. You need 30,000 tokens. 30,000 tokens at one cent would cost you, is that right? 300 bucks. 300 bucks to get a $1, $2 allocation, 10% TGE, 10 cents times 40, $4, you're down a lot, right? Then let's say the architect had like, I think $20 allocation 10% to $100-ish, and then 100,000, 180,000, yeah. So the cost relative to the staking, that's the biggest problem. So Meta VPAD, I think, was the most affordable. And right now it's, it's one cent, right? So when the announcement came, it had a peak here of five cents. So buying in doesn't, so the, the token might do 100, 200 X, right? Great. Uh, sometimes on Meta VPAD, it did a thousand X, great. But it doesn't outweigh the con of having to stake the token, which then crashes in value. So it was like on the announcement, it reached almost five cents. And right now it's at 1.5 cents again, you know, basically people selling off again after the hype uh, causes big problems. And these tokens are locked, right? This is locked staking. You get guaranteed allocation, but still, um, is it worth it? Therefore, the trade off, I think not. And that's the base summary. Look, it's crashing on KuCoin. There we go. Forecasted, guys, forecasted. And I'm not saying I'm a genius, but it's really not that difficult. Why? Because as I explained in my previous video, if you haven't seen that, go to my channel, subscribe, like the video, and then go to the other AI pad video. I, I sketched this. I sketched this entire example based on the tokenomics, based on prehistoric patterns of other tokens analysis. And I understand it's quite boring and I'm not into technical analysis at all. I'm not really into these things. But what I am interested in is using data like the data from track digits to find the patterns and based on these patterns and indicators, make an assumption, a hypothesis, and then follow the data live as I'm showing you today, um, why it's happening. And of course, easy for me to talk right now because I didn't participate in this project. But even if I did, I think this live coverage with some, <laughs> let's say, shit talking, uh, interesting uh, commentary along the way definitely uh, hopefully helps some of you 
uh, try and get a better understanding of how these things work. And then obviously it's up to you to either participate, not participate. Everybody can make their own choice on what to do and how to do it. 74 cents on KuCoin, down 25% in the last five minutes. AI pet on BNB, seeing about 80 cents. And we're still um, future AI. It's not even trending on Dex tools. Interesting. On the hot pairs. So what was the volume so far? Only 890k. And the volume here is already 4 million. It has been 10 minutes. So yeah, it's just all selling basically on the Dex. But EastPad is coming up next, an EastPad that will happen in five minutes, where there is another probably God candle and then the same rinse and repeat process that is going to occur. So you can see the order book, it's almost all sell orders, right? No buy orders. I don't really understand, yeah, if you buy here and they pump it back, but with that token so look at this now it's like running again so man if you just if you're like patient you can make so much money by just trading this token but it's obviously hella risky because it's like more like gambling maybe it can go either way it's all speculation that's that's what crypto really is most of the time anyway it's just speculation in general look look at the difference 90 cents 80 cents here it's like a 15 percent price difference and probably because you can't withdraw on on kucoin that's why Okay, so we see the first green candle after the bottom out here, it being brought down, 85, 82, with four minutes on the clock until that Uniswap starts running. Let's see how the FUD goes. They'll make an announcement, yeah. Sell tax returned, okay. Okay, so Uniswap has the same principle. Then we're going to the chat, just to see what the FUD is all about. Somebody bought at 1.2, bought the all-time high. Very big volatility. This will pump back. I don't think so. People are gonna dump when they make 100x, makes sense. It's been only 20 minutes, 50x. Wait for the paper hands to get out and we're golden. I don't think that's gonna happen. Why would anybody sell? It will pump, don't panic sell. <laughs> diamond hand, guys, diamond hand. Everybody just can't claim dump, dump, dump. Guys, it did like a 40x. What do you expect? It's like a marketing engine. 40x is amazing in this market. Although how it's set up is obviously not as feasible. Uh, I invested 10, now I have five. <laughs> That's interesting. And there, there's like obviously a quantity approach. I, I would not see any investor throwing in like 10, 50 grand on this launch because it's not a long-term halt. It's just going to be downwards if we saw like bsc pad meta v pad game zone east pad all their, their prior launches under that model same same i invested three thousand dollars in the launch pad and got only forty dollars allocation so this is the example i was referring to so he did on a four so he got four dollars times um a 40x is 160 dollars right the other other tokens still need to be vested it will not hold at the 40x but he still invested 3000 those tokens will then be reduced in value so his 3000 is now worth likely a thousand or maybe 500 and his his release was only yeah there's losses dual side losses and that's that's the main problem so this is the perfect scenario um where no we're not gonna laugh at him we need to cheer, cheer him, savage. No, let me remove that. Oh, sometimes that's savage. Uh, okay, let's see what we have. Is it time? Two minutes. Blur is trending. Okay, holding 85 cents, holding 81 cents. And we can already see a slow linear downward trend, right? Then it pumped a little bit, but it's still on the, on the move. 71 was the lowest point. Then here we were looking also something like that, 78 cents. 
but you can see that volume has really slowed down there's almost no volume here and the volume is also slowing down here so we're looking at less than 100k well 100k a minute but the launch has basically happened look at this there was quite some decent volume not insane but it did well now curious to see what's going to happen okay large influx of buy orders just be 30 seconds before the listing see massive buy orders ah that's manipulation mate that makes no sense because that's the exact same thing that happened at 815 816 right when it got listed on pancake swap out of the blue a ton of buy orders to push it again see it's like they're trying to hold it strong this smells fishy you know and you can never really say if it's if it's money it's money you know but that's weird opening 82 cents people are not as bullish what's the liquidity refresh it put it on one minute is it stuck i think so oh there we go 85 cents buy orders buy orders buy orders some 84 85 uniswap live new announcement nope okay Don't panic sell. Yeah, probably people will listen. What is this guy? 10,000 X possible. What are these people even saying? They think like it's a magic internet money. Magic internet money. Okay, 82 cents, 85 cents, 86 cents. People selling at a 21% tax, interesting. 500K of liquidity added. Liquidity is going down, interesting. 400, ah, maybe because of the token value as well. When the token value goes down, liquidity goes down. Yeah, so the, the pool is displayed here. Okay. Sell orders coming through with 21% tax though, so people not bullish. Definitely no god candle here. Heavy, heavy sales. Is there any tweets going out? Or no tweets. Okay, just the, the latest announcement two minutes ago. People complaining. Let's go to the moon. Scam. <laughs> I love how bipolar people are. Some are like mad bullish. Other ones are like, no, fuck this. 100x. Moon boy crew. That's it. Moon boys. Why market cap 175 million? TGE was supposed to. Yeah, but after TGE pumps, mate. That's how it goes. All right. So what I foresee. The price prediction. What you came here for right not financial advice always do your own research i talk a lot of shit but for this launch i appear to be exactly right how it would play out literally not well not on the centralized exchange as much but on the dexes the price movement definitely right this will follow the exact same historic cycle as we've seen here it will pump right then it will dump, then they announce the project, it will pump, but it will never pump back to like a dollar. It might hold there for a little bit because in three days they do the announcement for the tiers, uh, that you're eligible with the tiers to basically, uh, and then it will pump again, right? Then the next project, uh, they, they, will, they will do maybe three projects over the next three months, or maybe over the next six months. And then um, these projects again, very low market cap, same model, need to stake hella tokens, very low percentage TGE, um, big candle on the first one, then slow, slow sell off or fast sell off, red candles, and there will be no recovery for most of these projects. I think the only long term interesting project that I didn't even participate in is uh, Katana Inu. I think that's the only one that has actually developed a decently looking game, and that was incubated by Busilla. So that has done quite well. I believe so, if I recall correctly. This was uh, 
the marketing engine for this project is not owned by Blusilla. I think the marketing engine was Blusilla. And that they've done quite well for themselves. I ran into this project about two weeks ago when I was doing a research for another project. Um, this is, yeah, here, Blusilla. This is also a Blusilla project. Top of my hat. I'm not sure about the other ones. There's some feces there. So yeah, this one uh, actually did quite well. So it's not only Bluesilla projects launching on Bluesilla Launchpad. They also incubate, and then as a marketing partner, they launch, and they actually have an, a decent-looking game. I haven't played it. I just saw a video on Twitter, but you can see they have some uh, some nice names, a good website. So yeah, it's definitely they're doing at least something, which is important. And then Bluesilla as a marketing partner, you know what they can do. Uh, they can do big things on the marketing scene. So yeah. We're almost reaching five minutes, so we'll just wait for that, just to see uh, if... Okay, so literally on the second, uh, <coughs> the sell orders are coming in, but it's not even that significant at the moment. Oh, what well, we're looking, 81 cents, 79 cents, so it's, it's starting to even out, right? Volume is dying, sell orders 50, buy orders 100, but... It's not looking that like it's gonna pump a lot more. Volume has slowed down quite a lot. Pancake swap, it's almost looking like a flat line. Just have to zoom in a lot. Price is not moving, price is moving one, two cents. Uh, this is like a $1,500 order, right? And then people are selling 80 cents, 80 cents. Now the, the, the 21% tax is removed on Uniswap. New announcement, tax has been removed on Uniswap, I assume. Oh, trading is live. All right, perfect. So the price prediction, yeah, as I said, they will uh, launch their projects. I think they will soon make an announcement. So they will wait probably 24, 48 hours. The token will flow out. Uh, the, the, some of the burn is going to the donations for Turkey. That's a good cause. <coughs> helps the marketing a little bit uh, and then what will happen is the leaderboard will go live the tiers you will be able to stake and then the projects will will start to get listed that brings the price back to life but it will be the same repetitive model high risk high reward that's the conclusion uh, looking at coin gecko let's pull up coin gecko where we're actually at with ai pad we are actually sitting at a 3 million market cap, so very, very low still. It can go a lot higher, but you would have to wait for the bull run or for some uh, max performance coming in on insane projects. But I don't think this is the ecosystem to deliver that at the moment, in my opinion. If you are interested in tracking all the price movement going forward to the future releases, if you are an investor into AIPad, definitely check out trackdigits.com. There's a free link to sign up for the TrackDigits Alpha in the description down below. If you have a different price prediction, if you're going to think it's gonna do a thousand X from this price, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.